already talked. Okay, first off, hello, welcome back. You already know what it is. It's your girl Ice of Coffee back in the building. Okay, so today we're gonna do a day in my Lizzie life. life. Cause I feel like what I'm going through and what I have going on in my life right now, it just definitely calls for me to do a day in my life, right? What's so funny about life is like how stuff play out, right? Like I've just been noticing recently, if you don't trip on stuff, if you really do kiss it up to God and be like, God, please handle this for me. That's exactly what's gonna be done. I swear to God, I swear. Cause it's been so many different things and I'm like, I don't know how I'm X, Y, Z, A, B, C, D, E, F, G is finna equal alphabet, but it be equal in alphabet. Y'all ever be having braids and just be like, like, ugh, get these hoes out of my face. Don't get me twisted. Shout out to Tika yet again for these braids. She completely ate, but I don't think I have had enough time in like braid land to truly understand uh to truly you know like understand how to work with these hoes because girl this should be whooping my ass like rico real life y'all know my little jewelry store that i be going and be showing y'all where i be getting my little stuff at woo -wop, woo -wop. so as of recently i just went today because um they had told me to stop by for my birthday and i was like okay so they just let me choose whatever I wanted to like get, which was cool. But this is what I got, which I'm, bruh, I've been eyeballing this for so long because y'all know I'm a big water girl. Like I'm a freaking earth sign, so why wouldn't I be big on water? Nigga, all my friends are literally panning out to be water signs. It's kind of funny, but this is what it is, y'all. Look at it. Ha! Wow, it's a waterfall, it's a waterfall, it's a waterfall. Also y'all, I have something super big in store for y'all that I'm pretty sure none of y'all would ever expect or need to like be doing or like be clashing out with, but I know for a fact. Oh my fucking gosh. Oh. I gotta put water in it, hold on. He said keep pouring until it like catches. Damn, still ain't enough water? Yeah, damn. Ha, it's starting, it's starting, it's starting, it's starting. Ah! Oh my gosh, yay. I probably need to add more. It's starting. It's starting. It's starting. Back to the other stuff that I got. I got this beautiful, it's so pretty. Do you see that? It's pink. It's so pretty. Like, I'm definitely gonna replace it. Like, like sometimes some of these chains, it just be time to retire them. But out of all of those, I definitely believe that was the one that needed to go the most. Grrr. Clean, bro. That shit's so clean. That's clean. Ooh, that's sexy. That's clean. I have um, a dance that I need to choreograph at four o'clock. So I'm gonna be taking y'all along with me when I go there. So I'm gonna see y'all when I get there. All right, y'all. Hey, with my girl. Can we do that? Can we kind of like. What's up? Like, how the fuck I do that? Put the hands up? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. So I'll go I'll pop. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so circle, then up. Yeah. So, uh, uh, yeah. Then, then the, what the head swing though? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> the head swing, so. Uh, 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 then, uh, uh, uh. You can still do it. it okay, you just down. transition your arms down. down okay, yeah. cool. Five, six, seven. I'm a bad motherfucker. What's up? Small fuck later. What you made from my. And you, mm, 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 mm. I'm a bad motherfucker. Oh, mm. we did nay nay. We'll be buck. We'll buck? Come down like, wah, 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 some shit. Or no. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh. Cause it's like, then it'll just end off, you know, I'm bad as fuck. Hell yeah. yeah. Alright, let's do that
get up this morning and I was like babe can you bring me to this morning I want to get any public please I want to get some like a fruit so y'all already know I got my mm-hmm 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 yeah uh-huh and my parfait uh-huh yeah yeah period you got to start your day off balance that day balance that day bro one thing that I definitely need to do is invest in a uh, air humidifier dehumidifier whatever something that like purifies the air and cleanses the air because between me and him, we, you know what I'm saying? We make out with Mary Jane all day, boy. Well, he makes out with Mary Jane all day. Um, I do that sometimes. And we just be needing to like cleanse the space, if that makes sense, like cleanse the air or whatever. So I need to like get that quick. When I tell y'all we got all this stuff from Dollar Tree just for it to still be under $30 is insane. Like, I'm gonna clear out this right quick and we're gonna talk, we're gonna have a little quick little chat about my life and what I necessarily have going on. We're gonna talk about how to stop victimizing yourself, how to basically hop out of the mindset of feeling like everything happens to me, everything is against me, you know what I'm saying? Like, I be battling life, life be battling me. Basically teaching you how to hop out of that mindset and how to start actively manifesting every day a better life by not victimizing yourself if that makes sense for a very 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 long time i 
literally went through a lot a lot a lot of stuff it would just felt like all every any and everything that i did just ended up being like a clap back towards me it ended up being it always just ended up being something that was like had me fucked up y'all know that y'all know y'all know that shit that just be like having you fucked up literally and so started to create a victimizing mindset where um if something good happened during the midst of like my storm i would be like dismissive of it or i wouldn't give credit towards it due to the fact that i was still so stuck in being so mad and so angry and so you know what i'm saying overwhelmed by being a victim right and as of recent i have noticed a complete change in my friends a complete change in the energy that i decide to embark in i noticed a complete change even like in my mentality and how like i handle situations right so this is this we're going to talk about friends this is honestly specifically who i'm talking about when it came down to friends to me i've always struggled with friends and i didn't struggle making friends but i kind of struggled keeping friends i never really understood why friends come and go the way they came and went and you know it, it, it started to really fuck with me like i'm not gonna lie y'all it really started to like fuck with me really bad that like I just would always like gain a friend and then something would happen between me and that friend and the next thing you know, me and that friend aren't friends no more. And I never really knew why, I never really understood why. And I've always been the type of girl to care. Like I care about my people and I care about like, okay, if me and Oshadi stop being friends, why we stop being friends? So like, what happened to us, you know? Now, I will say quite frankly, as of recent, I've had a lot, I've been giving my flowers a lot recently which is allowing me to, or helping me to recognize what I did go through. And the flowers that have been given to me is like, girl, it wasn't you. The people that left your life, like I've had a lot of friends come back and be like, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's rekindle our friendship. Like, let's try this shit again. And as we go through the conversation of like, well, why did we stop being friends in the first place? Why did we stop doing this? Why do we stop doing that? It always ends up being like, where they was at at the time period, where I was at, at the time period, we did not align feel me like we, we genuinely did not like add up and so I it always it always just used to like not what's the word it, it never triggered me or nothing like that but it, it just always made me feel like when I when I stopped having those friendships I always just felt like damn like what did I do right and then that's when I start self-sabotaging that's when I started self-criticizing myself that's when I started trying to figure out okay x plus b equals c so why the fuck am I not seeing my way through this you know what I'm saying so as of recent I have really realized that the people in my life really do love me they cherish me they care for me and they value me. and I noticed that before right I when I would have a friend that I felt the same way about I still would chant I ain't got no friends, I ain't got no friends. I ain't got no friends, I ain't got no friends. But what's so crazy is, it's like, I had to really check myself and be like, girl, how you saying you ain't got no friends, but you on the front, you on the phone with a friend saying you ain't got no friends. Or, you you know what I'm saying? You got people who literally wake up every day and don't have a single text message. People be texting me, people be calling me. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I, I, I literally kept myself in that victim mentality for so long that I was uncared for, I was unloved, I wasn't valued and all that extra shit because I was so used to feeling like that that when I finally was in a place and space where like that wasn't the case, I didn't necessarily know how to hop out of it. First way that you hop out of it is acknowledgement. Like it is okay to be okay. Do you understand what I'm saying? I feel like everybody be like, it's okay to not be okay. No, it's okay to be okay. I, like there's it's something deeper to that and let me get into it like people have a hard time saying i'm good now because it's something about like feeding for that oh it's okay or, oh i love you you get what i'm saying like, the, like sometimes the only way that we know how to like obtain love care symphony all that other such is when we play victim or when we have to make people feel bad in order for us to get like a sort of reaction and I just, like I said, I just hopped into like that vibe of like, OMG, I do not have to play victim in order to receive the love, compassion, and care, and, 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 and sympathy that I'm earning for. Get what I'm saying? I don't have to, I don't have to be dramatic about a situation for somebody to be like, damn, that was detrimental to you. Or you know what I'm saying? I can just keep it very fucking real and I can be very, very, very authentic within myself and still get the same love and, and appreciation that I yearn for. 
you get what I'm under, you, you get what I'm trying to say? You could feel lonely, but the way that you call somebody to describe your loneliness is like, nobody called my phone all day. I called, I called everybody on my phone and nobody picked up the phone. Nobody answered and it just makes me feel like nobody cares about me. Da -da -da. When deep down inside, you're just having a lonely moment. You know what I'm saying? I stopped that shit because not only does that bring like a sense a sense of like negative energy but it keeps you in that that cycle that victimizing cycle where something has to happen to you in order to gain the sympathy that you're yearning for rather than you just being yourself and literally obtaining the love and light that positivity brings you get what i'm saying but you gotta stay down for the ride in order to see that and what i mean by that is like it was a brick it was a brick that i literally like from the moment i stepped out of the victimizing spot it was a brick until it was like i could really really feel the love and feel the care that my friends embedded me with now i, I like like i literally was saying today like i'm not I, I can't say i don't have no friends i've noticed that i kind of sent myself through a cycle maybe about like three to four times of me obtaining friends but not appreciating them in a sense of hey you're here for me and i see that and i appreciate you for being here for me it was always kind of in a sense of like i would get those friends but still would kind of want to like be like well i'll be rocking out by myself i'm just by myself it's just me when you finally decide to hop out of that victim mentality and stop keeping yourself bombarded and feeling like you're alone you don't have nobody um you know i'm broke uh life works works against me and not with me you have to literally change that mindset you have to start appreciating the witty, 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 witty things and those itty bitty things start to 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 add up to a bit a bigger picture life is literally a puzzle so when you start adding in the pieces the picture starts to become more clear and more prevalent right and so that's literally what i did for myself and it worked it worked. I'm living proof, y'all. I'm living proof. Like, I swear to God, I'm living proof. I have people in my life who care about me. I have people in my life who care about me. I have people in my life who love me. I am not alone. Life works with me and not against me. I, it, it's just that sometimes um, rejection equals redirection, which means, you know, like in, in the time frame, I, I might be like, damn, why did that friend, why did that friend leave me? Or why did, why did we fall off? Or well, I don't know what I did wrong, right? And that's what God is saying in the back of his head. Like, I took that friend out of your place so we could bring a better one in. That for real. Or sometimes I done had some friends that I really love. Like for instance, like Tavi and Danny, love them, hosted them. They were removed from my life for a break of a time, but the friends that I went through during that period when I wasn't friends with them, and then when they came back in my life, really let me know that the friends that I had before them really wasn't the friends that I wanted to indulge in, if that makes sense. Like, sometimes people be taken out of your life just so you can like appreciate what you did have. So when it's brought back to you, it's like, okay, now you know how to be there and be that friend and be that person you know what i'm saying stop victimizing yourself y'all like if something happened to you change your mindset to it happened to me to it happened for me you know what i'm saying even if it's as deep as your nigga cheating on you right even if it's if it's as deep as like your man's doing something dirty to you it ain't happen to you it happened for you because that man ain't for you so you need to get feel me sometimes you need bad shit to happen to open up your eyes because sometimes when you're just looking at stuff from like too much of a positive note, you can't really calculate where the bad stuff coming from. You know what I'm saying? It's called brainwashing, being blindsided, you know? Love is blinding, basically. So once I am hopped out of all that, y'all, I promise y'all, I have been, I've literally the past couple of days have just been so appreciative and so fucking thankful that the people who have became the people who are in my life now shown over time and time again that not only are they here to stay but they love and appreciate me the exact same way i love and appreciate them and and my friendships now are just so genuine and pure and so loving and so so just solid just fucking solid but that's it y'all i love y'all you already know it's your girl icy coffee we brewing it on up out of here and i'm gonna call y'all back next video keep your brewing coffee beans i love y'all